Hey guys, what's happening? It's Chess G in the building once again. And here to bring you a different kind of video, kind of more like speculation video, as you might guess from the title. Whatever I name this, probably Melee 2.0 or Smash for Switch will be the next Melee or whatever. This is all speculation. I'm not saying this is true, but if it does, oh boy, I'll tell you. While I think the next Smash Bros. could be the next Melee, I don't think it's going to be essentially Melee 2.0. The end of development of Smash 4 to Smash for Switch, I think Sakurai is probably going to do the same thing he did with Smash 4. It kind of just like poured over Brawl's mechanics and made Smash 4. And the same thing will probably happen with this. He probably just use Smash 4 as the base and take it from there and probably just fine tune it to be a little bit more, like I said, you know, esports friendly, you know. Get, get rid of some of the jank in there, have a little bit more consistency, you know, and just have, just have the game a little bit more sharper in general, I believe. With that being said, I feel like some mechanics like wave dashing and L canceling probably won't return in this iteration, but I think I have a few, I have a few changes that I can still like, you know, mitigate that and still have like a pretty fresh and dynamic game. Also, I just had this idea, what if Sakurai also not only looked towards Melee as inspiration, but also other fighting games, like maybe you might take some notes from Street Fighters or Tekken or more recently Dragon Ball Fighters, like that would be, that would be pretty neat, I mean, I don't even know, the sky's the limit, how should I say this, I think, like it's gonna be more competitive, it's probably be like Melee, but at the same time it won't, like on a spectrum from 1 and 10, like Smash 4 being 1, and melee being 10, I feel like it'd be like a 7 maybe. So first of all, before I get into this stuff, I feel like what holds back Smash 4 as a competitive game and what and actually what things, you know, that are good for Smash 4. Smash 4. <laughs> Smash 4. <laughs> Smash 4. Oh man. People gonna take that out of context. So I'm gonna mention the, the pros of Smash 4 and the cons of it and I have like my little solutions here and there. So like first of all, I think with Smash 4, kind of, I think the first thing I'd probably mention is just the RNG stuff. So, I mean, you got your untackable spin animations and untackable stage spikes. In the next Smash Bros. game, like, nope, like, just get rid of that. Like, tripping and brawl, like, just, just remove it just entirely. Just get rid of untackable spin animations, or at the very least, have the spin animations be tackable or whatever. I don't freaking know. And also, like, you know, get rid of untackable stage bikes. I think that could be fixed, maybe. I, I, I don't know. I'm not a programmer, but I, I feel like that, that could be removed better easily. So, yeah, that, and that's, that's pretty much about it. Just, just, just get rid of just the, the jank stuff, you know. That's, that's what I feel. I say SDI is pretty good in Smash 4, but at the same time, it could be too good, I guess. I mean, you probably might know what I'm talking about. Freaking Bay, alright. Bayonetta, man. I mean, I look. I, I like the character. Not. I'm not gonna lie. I, I like the Bayonetta, but that's. I don't know which twist though. It's 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 kind of OP. So I feel like like with SDI, I think SDI would probably play more of a bigger factor in the next Smash Bros. game. Like, I'd say kind of like buff it. So like you know things like Bayo's witch twist could be SDI a little bit more easily. I'm not talking about her, but SDI in general would just be easier to to perform. I mean, although it won't be like nearly useless like it was in like say melee, I think melee was kind of like a little too extreme. Rage is a double-edged sword in Smash 4. I mean, it, it, it's a toss-up. Like whether it returns or not, it's I, I I really don't know. But if it does return, I feel like it'll probably be a little bit more balanced. And like remember, like I said earlier, like I think the goal for this game at least is just to just get rid of the jank. So I think Rage, I mean, it's, I, I feel like it's too good of a concept to get rid of entirely, especially with like, you know, heavies kind of benefiting off of it pretty, pretty well. It helps them, you know, you know, stay at like a tier above, at least. Rage for the heavies, like, you know, I'd say it's a good thing, so we'll, we'll keep it just for those guys. But like I say, like, for Rage in general, like for the rest of the cast, just be just balanced accordingly. That way you don't get like, you know, Witch Twist, Jank, and, you know, ZSS up B jank. <laughs> you know, like it's 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 kinda insane. <laughs> Spray Dead in general in Smash 4 isn't too bad. But I feel like unless you're like Cloud, Mario, Fox, or pretty much anybody in top ten, something frame down might be a bit iffy in some areas, depending on what character you use. I mean, I mean to take for example, like you know, Mario, like I mentioned earlier. Like Mario has like has like so many options out of his toolkit, like it flows very well together. 
And also, they have like little to no cooldown on some of his moves, but the ones that do, like they're, they have like respectable lag to it. Like say, Mario's up smash, for example, you can legit like throw out up smash like three different times, like one sitting. It's insane. Seriously, you can like up smash and like run away and like reset neutral that way. You can like up smash and once again, up smash again. You can do a bunch of things out up smash and heck, even like forward smash, even though it has a little bit of lag of it, you know, it's not, you know, it's not too unbearable. You know what I mean? His moves, you know, like can be punishable, but they're not like really punishable. Like, you know, Mark is still like, you know, do some things out of it. So like, you know, apply some safe pressure or camp or whatever. Actually, can Mario even, can Mario even camp? I forget, I forget. <laughs> but um, what could probably make the game a bit faster in general and also give you know characters more options is just just cut lag down like entirely like basically like have auto L canceling you know so, something along those lines the startup lag FAF and landing lag like those three things I feel it should be cut like across the board depending on the move and I say maybe between I say between two to four frames of lag cut off from each of those categories those few frames of being cut down I, I, that could probably like you know benefit the game a little bit more I bet it go a little bit more faster and that way you know moves won't drag out for too long the next point is movement now movement in smash 4 I say it's okay but once again like it's okay it's not it's not good but it also isn't bad it's still room for improvement and once again we kind of look at melee at this or maybe to an extent, maybe some other mods that are out there, like Artful Lander and 4XM mod, which I guess is also going to be a melee mod. <laughs> but, like, let's take, so like, so I think I already ruled out the possibility of wave dashing being in the game, so, yeah, once again, that's, that's our table. But what I feel like that could be simple to implement, and yet still add, like, more options to the game is... Well, let's see. First of all, I got a status like okay. So, in terms of movement, you can walk, you can dash, you can jump, and roll. And also character specific movement options like you know, once again, <laughs> it's like zero zero to Samson's um flip kick by the down beat, or and I guess again bring Bale again. The Bale is like you know after burner kick, you know things like that. And that's like how, how many is that? Like five six moves. And so that walking by itself, I think it's fine. Like I think it's it, it's okay. Like I actually like walking in, in Smash for it. Moving in Smash is vital to the fundamentals of the game. I believe you can like legit just walk out somebody's range just enough, but still have enough range yourself to like punish them for using an attack on you or whatever. I I like that about Smash Four and other Smash Bros. So walking is fine, of course. Dashing probably have the most changes out of a dash you're only limited to like two or three options i think you can dash into you can shield and therefore you can roll and spot dodge or whatnot and you can jump oh yeah i also forgot there's um dash and then turn around almost immediately but not really but even then it's had that much use if i recall correctly unless you're doing like a turn around tilt or whatever like a forward tilt dashing is a little bit limited in that regard because if you compare it to walking you still have all your options available to you you have your tilts you have your smash attacks you have your aerials you have your special fletcher never mind like you, you can you, you can use special moves while you're dashing too but anyway when you're dashing it's a little bit more of a commitment which you know i guess isn't too bad but once again like i'm trying to you know in this match I, i'm trying to go a theoretical melee or the melee successor and having more options in general so so with that said i feel like i feel like what can probably be the most significant change is to cancel your dash by crouching and i feel like that'll be the most significant change because you can like dash and then you can like you can do like a quick crouch and then do like a forward smash or whatever like that in fact you see like a whole bunch of marks doing that in melee for example you know i feel like that i feel like that can open up a lot more options as well I think about having Dash Dancing return too. Yeah, Dash that, 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 that Dash Dancing could return because to be honest, in Smash 4 is you had to like like depending on the character, it could be quite a bit tough to do Dash Dancing. Even then, it's kind of at a fixed distance, so Dash Dancing isn't really as useful. But if they could bring back how Dash Dancing was in like melee, 
I feel like that could open up a bit more options as well. And also it can help with tech chasing as well. And I think that's what I think that's what Smash 4 is pretty what I like Smash 4 about too is that te the tech chase potential in that game is kinda it's kinda ridiculous. Not as not as ridiculous as like say melees and stuff, but it's it's definitely there. And I say just by adding dash dancing and crouch canceling, or rather canceling your dash out of a crouch, I think that that'll be pretty darn good. Or oh, also bring back ground to air momentum because it's it's kind of ridiculous. Like seriously, like you can like in Smash Bros. There's like so many times like I dash, and I mean it's there, but at the same time it's not there. If that makes any sense, it's basic physics. Like if you're gonna run and then jump, naturally your ground momentum would carry over to your jump. I mean that's just how it applies in real life too. Although granted, Smash Bros. isn't real life either, but I'm just I'm just saying like it's been done before. It's I think it's a pretty simple mechanic to, to bring back. Just just bring back ground to air momentum and we'd be Gucci. I think the most important one, or one of the most important ones, is the ledge. The ledge with has got to change, like for real. Because like everybody in Smash 4 is like Magneto or whatever. Or Dr. Doom. I mean, I, I, I think that's magnetic power. I think that's magnetic power too. I'm getting off topic. Everybody in Smash 4 has magnet hands, and it's ridiculous. I mean, heck, even Gandorf, like, with his poor recovery, can still snap to the ledge from, like, out of nowhere. <laughs> it's insane. So, I think ledge sweet spots, or at least the, the auto snap thing, has got to go. But not entirely, I think. I think ledge sweet spot, probably, I would say to reduce it to, like, melee ledge sweet spots, because I think that's kind of overkill as well. But I say brawl sweet spots. I think that's I think that's actually I think that's pretty generous. So I have it just slightly, slightly, slightly smaller than brawl like sweet spots, and would be good. With those changes alone, it would just make everybody's recovery a cloud recovery. <laughs> like you know, like in melee, like most recoveries, you kind of have to like do it at a specific angle at a certain distance, so you don't overshoot the ledge and get punished for it. That's the kind of thing I want back because I think that can like really incentivize edge guard a lot more and in turn make you know a lot quicker matches and a lot quicker GP3s. <laughs> Speaking of recoveries, I was actually thinking about having recoveries like super nerfed with these mechanics, but that I think that also be overkill as well. So I think just with the ledge mechanics alone being changed, some coverage won't be nerfed as much. But I say villagers or Rosalinas maybe. Those kind of recoveries could be nerfed, but like I don't know. I just, I just say you know, nerf recoveries across the board, but not too much to the point where like you know you can't really recover like at all. I just want the recoveries to be free, basically, because in Smash 4 you can kind of recover for free if you're if you're really good at it. In Smash 4 recovery in general is pretty darn easy, and I think with these changes it'll make it a little bit more of a challenge, but not but it's not too overbearing. So you can still recover to the ledge, but you still just gotta do it at just the right distance, so you won't get so it won't clip over the ledge or whatever. Oh no, he's gonna bring back Edge Hogging. Like, nah, Edge Hogging's not gonna come back. I actually like Ledge Trumping. In fact, if coverage weren't so good in Smash 4, I think Ledge Trumping will really be a lot more engaging, a lot more exciting. The only time you can get like a kill off of Ledge Trump is if their opponent's like at a kill percent, like 100 or 20 percent or something like that. Ledge Trumping, like in this game, you, you can pretty much do like a Ledge Trump at like me, like 30 percent, and your, your character's dead. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it sounds kind of sounds kind of cheap, I know, but I think it, it, I think it'll be pretty it'll be pretty exciting kind of change. Less jumping catch would be re really engaging this time around, and I like that. Cover that with nerf recoveries, ledge chomping, and the ledge sweet spots being moved. I think edge guarding will be a lot better. It won't have to resort to just edge guarding on stage. You can edge guard off. You get yeah. You get edge guard off stage, which I think is a little bit a little more exciting. I say the best for the last. Or at least, you know, as far as the cans go, there's still a bunch of things I need to talk about. <laughs> the combo potential and KO potential actually is key in this game. Because in Smash 4, there's like so many times where you're just like in neutral and like nothing's happening. Or I won't really say it like that, but it can, once again, it can give some improvement. Like some moves for some characters that have either have little utility or like none at all. Or like very strip don't even be used. We Fit Trainer for example, my main. And of course, like, you know, with this Wii Fit Trainer we're talking about. Her up tilt is like doesn't have that much use like at all. I mean, yeah, you sure you get like a good like 10%, but it doesn't it's not like it's not really safe on hit even, I think. I mean, I think you can shield afterwards and still be able to like you know act out of a point if they try to retaliate. 
but they could like they could just still they could still just jump out of that or whatever but anyway i'm, I'm getting i'm just, i'm side rambling but yeah like it, it doesn't have that much use i mean of course not every move has to have a certain purpose but like just like have it so where the move doesn't seem like it shouldn't even exist i guess for example like let's once again let's bring back let's bring back to mario like mario has quite a few options that can like start combos or ko's and whatnot i mean he can like combo off like a down air he can combo off a grab of course in fact in smash 4 you usually start off of a grab or something like that like as far as guarantee follow-ups go it's pretty much just off of a grab or tilt or something like that i i i, I forget exactly with the frame data buff that I pretty much gave everybody in Smash for Switch, I say like give more combo starters, combo potential across the board, and I think we'll be good. If you look at Melee, and I guess to an extent Project M, all those kind of unofficial mod, in Melee, like you know, you can pretty much combo off of like anything. Even like low tiers have more combo potential in that game. Like say, you know, Roy, for example, you can like start off combo with a uh, down tilt, I think, a forward air kind of, up air, I think, nair. He got some options, even though it's low tier. Considering the mechanics of that game, combos aren't just relegated to just two, three hit combos. They can go on for like five, six, ten hits <laughs> or, or whatever. And it could last like 10 seconds and then your stock is gone. Like it's insane. So I want to have that kind of combo ability back. That'd be great. Of course, it's one thing to have combos, but it, but I think the one thing that Smash 4 suffers as far as the pacing of it is just KO potential, I believe. Cause not a lot of characters have that many kill options, if I recall correctly. Like Sushi is usually rather good to me, like an up smash or something. Of course, bring that Mario again. <laughs> Outside of those characters, like top 10 or whatever, it's just like some situational kill confirm or like some smash attack or whatever. And then it's back to neutral again, and then like one, two hits or three hits sometimes. And then back to neutral again. But yeah, like none of that. <laughs> in this next Smash Bros. game, Moves in general will not only have more combo potential, but also KO potential. Once again, if you look at melee, most moves that seem like they won't really kill, do kill. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Let's say like Fox, for example, because I bring Fox, like he can like KO off of like a up air, up smash, I think back air, nair, I think. They can kill semi early, but not too early. But the combo potential is there, the KO potential is there. And I feel like by having that, they could like really speed up the gameplay session therefore like you know if it wants to be terminus for it like terminus will be like a lot quicker and it'll be like a little more it'll be a lot more hype and stuff like that but it also increase hits then i forgot to mention that <laughs> i guess it goes without saying that you know it's gonna be more combo it's probably gonna be more hits done obviously but yeah i think that's an important point to me just which is increase the hits done at least it won't be six four levels broken but it won't be like melee e exactly you know because I, I still like my air dodge race too so yeah, <laughs> so like we'll increase hits down, but not like to melee levels. It's probably a little bit more optional, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But probably get rid of the frame buffers, although it's not it's not too bad. Though it's only just two three frames, I think. They probably might, they probably have that carry over in the next Smash Bros. But if they get rid of it, I mean that'd be that'd be cool too. But considering like you know if this is a switch you're talking about having that type of a buffer, it could be a little bit detrimental kind of so we can probably keep the buffer or at least just lower it a little bit so let's say go from three frame buff to maybe two uh, also well, this is not really mechanics but just more of the characters but like have like the characters be a little bit more dynamic i mean we're gonna bring all these changes back to like make the game like you know more dynamic in general why not have the characters more dynamic i mean because it's like Take a look at melee mark for example you can play melee mark in so many different ways like beauty kings mark is like drastically different from like say mango's marth for example like if you have that kind of diversity like have like characters within characters in the next smash Bros. game that would be pretty lit like if i want to play we fit trainer super aggro and combo heavy punish heavy whatever i can do that but if i want to play campy and more calculate i can do that too like it's not just locked to one certain play style or two play styles i mean it, it really depends like once again sky is limited like it, if they can give more options to characters in general i think they'll be spot on i believe oh and also i forgot one more point grabs in smash 4 if i recall correctly at least a low percent they don't put your opponent in tumble animation and therefore not as many combos are true at that point it's kind of like a 50 50. I think by having grabs in next smash put your opponent in tumble animation regardless of percent 
I think that can like you know help you know combo potential as well. I don't want to say try to move away from just having grabs as combo starters, but I think that could like probably boost up a little bit and you can probably have more you know down throw to fair combos like Dr. Mario in melee. <laughs> oh man, that's that's just great. So said so yeah, like now, all right, so there we go. So we covered you know movement options that could, t that could potentially come back in Smash 4. The, frame data in general and just combo KO potential I feel like those four alone and these are pretty simple changes really I mean I, I believe they're pretty simple they will be set you know and especially like you know it's, it's Sakurai is pretty much you know just going to focus on just developing Smash for the Switch like I think he's going to really fine-tune the gameplay this time around because if you think about it with Smash 4 he was developing like he was technically developing two games at once you're sure they're the same game but it still took a little more development time but now he's only focused on one game I think I think like you know the game the game could be fine-tuned like you know even more I believe I forgot one more thing in terms of movement I think ledge canceling could make a return and that'd be pretty cool and double jump canceling I think could come back maybe but probably not considering like once again this kind of used to Smash 4 as the base I think the characters like Ness and Mewtwo could to use both forms of double jump from melee and brawl and onward. You can like hold like the jump button and stuff and still have like your full double jump and stuff like that. So if they could implement that, that'd be pretty cool too, but I don't know. And maybe Dacus could come back too, glide tossing, that'd be pretty cool too, but I don't really see if they're going to come back. But I'm just kind of throwing options out there. This game is going to be melee, but not exactly melee, but it's still going to be the thing that really drives melee, and that is options. and just combo potential and all that good jazz. Moonwalking won't make a return though. Sorry, Falcon. <laughs> so, who's to say there will be any new mechanics in Smash? I mean, like, sure, we'll probably bring a whole bunch back. Let's say there's new mechanics. How about All Star versus? Anybody remember that from Project M? Now, I think about it, I think it's in Smash 4, but it's locked behind a mode that no one really plays. <coughs> uh, Smash 2 <tour. coughs> But yeah, I think that would be pretty cool. Have like a tag team mode to be in Smash Bros. I can see it go either way or maybe both ways. You could like choose three characters at once or whatever and bring them to a match. So like each stock would be a different character. And maybe you could probably switch characters at will maybe. Kind of like how you can change Pokemon with Pokemon Trainer back in Brawl. That'd be pretty cool. And yo, how about... I think it would be the biggest, uh, not, I keep saying the biggest change, but I think a really big change to the game. Instead of having Smash Ball as an item, or actually it could still remain an item, but Smash Ball could also be a meter. Like imagine a Smash meter like Street Fighter and stuff like that. Like that, wouldn't that be cool? Like you do like, like it's just like with, the, with these mechanics that I mentioned just now, imagine comboing like a whole, like a chain of a bunch of up airs and fairs and whatnot with Marth and then ending it with the with a critical hit. That would be sick. Like seriously, I think that'd be pretty that'd be pretty hype. What's new mechanic? I'll say probably be like wave dashing, but just air dashing, I guess. But that guess that would make it wave dashing, but I don't I don't know. But maybe we could have like a meter on that as well. Like you can like air dash, but that could spend part of your meter and stuff like that. I, I don't really know, like, Sakura X could surprise us with some new mechanic in general. I mean, I think getting Smash Meter to fill up could be pretty much the same way as with any other fighting game, just like, you know, land some hits or, or whatever. It'll probably pretty much just work just like Low Max Meter or Cloud's Limit. In fact, they could pretty much just do that. The groundwork is there. And also, stages. There's, like, so many mods out there for Smash 4 and Brawl that just simply just turns off like a certain animation that makes the stage you know turn to a different version of it like pokemon stadium 2 for example like yo i just had this thought in my mind imagine a competitive hyrule temple like for melee that would be lit for real sakurai like take some notes man i mean i'm not a developer man but like come on like this is like you're 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 walking on gold mine man like come on I'm just saying, competitive temple, make it happen. Or just competitive stages in general, make it happen. Or, or heck, at the very least, like, just turn off stage hazards. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, just turn off stage hazards. And speaking of toggle ball options, toggle ball air dodges. You can have your melee air dodge, or you can have your brawl air dodge. Or vice versa, or maybe have like, like a new air dodge mechanic in general and like switch between those three. Once again, options, options. That'd be pretty cool. And 
yeah, and as far as mechanics and stages, game modes go, that's about it. And those are my two cents. What do you think? Am I crazy? Am I a genius? Let me know in the comments or let me know on Twitter, on Discord, anywhere really. Just just hit me up, man. And yes, my mic got worse. It's way worse. That's because I, I decided to record this way later, like two months after my initial recording. And I don't have my original mic on me right now, so yeah. So have fun guys. With that being said, I'll catch y'all on the next one. That's gonna catch me on the freaking Nintendo stream. I'm gonna stream that crap. So yeah, later.